Hello friends, welcome to the Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd. And I'm really excited about this particular show. Not only do I get to talk to you about ridiculous stories, but I get to give you an update on news we covered two months ago. Mm -hmm. Anyone remember those graphic ads that the FDA wanted to put on cigarette packages showing the diseased hearts and lungs and cadavers? And remember, when I stood right here on this spot and said, well, not this particular spot, but a very similar spot in front of the same camera, and, and I said to you all that the ads on cigarette packs showing these grotesque images were the equivalent of putting a picture of a diseased kidney on a whiskey bottle or a diseased heart on a fast food burger wrapper. Well, a federal appeals court considered the case this week, at which time lawyers for the tobacco firms fighting the FDA produced candy bar wrappers with pictures of rotting teeth and a McDonald's bag with a cadaver warning fatty foods cause heart disease. Uh -huh. Of course, these were not real packages, only used to demonstrate how silly the concept actually is and the slippery slope that could be created. Point made, as two of the three judges asked the attorneys for the FDA where such warnings would stop. In a previous ruling, Judge Richard Leon said these graphic images were not designed to protect the consumer, nor were they designed to increase awareness, but crafted to provoke an emotional response. And as such, messages cross the line from facts into advocacy. You know what I think? I think the judges watch the smoke report. And even though a final ruling isn't in yet, many watching the case think there's a very strong likelihood that the FDA is going to lose this on First Amendment grounds. That won't just be a victory for smokers, my friend, but for common sense everywhere. We'll be right back. In a recent press release from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, doctors claim that smoking causes increased failure in hip and knee replacement surgery patients. They say that tobacco and nicotine impair the body's ability to heal bones and wounds. And while I won't argue the point with the doctors, I do wonder if they stopped to consider how many hips and knees failed due to the increased stress put upon them of having to walk 500 feet down a dark alley to a designated smoking area. Just thinking out loud here. Mm. And finally, I know we all get sick to hell of hearing about smoking bans in the Western world, but consider a story out of Singapore where it is illegal to chew gum because people don't dispose of it properly. It has actually been suggested that cigarettes should be banned in Singapore as well, since they are far worse than chewing gum when it comes to public health. The author of this story, John Tran, actually goes on to say that drug trafficking can be punished by the death penalty there, and since cigarettes are just as harmful, they must be dealt with similarly. Yeah, this is a real story, folks. 
So, <clears throat> I guess the message here is, if the cigarettes don't kill you, then the government of Singapore certainly can. We may not live in a perfect country or countries, but thank God we don't live in Singapore. See you all next time on The Smoke Report. You're supposed to be, supposed to be.